going to take you through some performance profile and performance profile method from Peter O'Donoghue. Um, it's it's based on percentiles and it's looking at the averages of each uh, individual that you want to measure. Um, so this is a an export from uh, FB Ref and Stats Bomb. So credit to them. Um, and you can see the players on the left hand side. And I've also got the units here as well. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna use those columns. So that's column U and column A. What I've also done, I've highlighted some um, some variables that I want to concentrate on. So these are attacking. So I want to go shots on target, tempo, um, expected goals, expected assists, and progressive distance. How much distance they make. Um, during each game. So this is by game. Each row is a game that this player um, took part in. So what I've done, I've you can freeze the pane. So if I go to view, um, I'll unfreeze them to show you. So at the moment, it just scroll down like that and I wouldn't be able to see any titles. If I go into click on Everton there, I can go to freeze panes and then it will make the players just stay on the left hand side and all the um, all the variables at the top. So what I want to do is I want to create um, create averages for each uh, forward player because I want to measure two forward players. I want to measure um, well I'll go into that later on. So there's a really useful tool in the in the data section, uh, I'll just make sure I'm sorted. Yeah. So what you what you'll have to do is if you just click on anywhere on the spreadsheet, then you go to data. You can go to custom sort here. I've sorted it by unit first, and then by player. So press OK, and so all the midfielders and forwards uh, are here. Yeah. Uh, but I don't, I don't want the goalkeepers. I'm not going to delete them yet. Um, or the defenders. Right. So if I go to data, um, I've clicked on anywhere in the spreadsheet. If I go to subtotal, what that will do, it will, um, at change of each player, so it will look at this. Um, so these are all my columns here. It will look at this player column. And I want it to work out the average of these selected um, columns. So I've selected, uh, where is it? Shot on target there. I've selected tempo, expected goals, expected assists, and progressive distance. I think yeah, we'll move that. And everything else is OK. So if I press OK there, It's actually worked out the average under each one of these. I've highlighted them to, to make it easy to understand and see. So I want all the forward players. So I'm going to click on Dominic Calvert-Lewin. I'm going to highlight Moses Keane. So I've hold, held command down and then click on the, the number to highlight that row. Um, I'm also I also need Richarlson. I don't need Pickford. I need a Wobi. Um, who else? Gomez, Anthony Gordon. I'll have him. Bernard. I'm not going to pick uh, Fabian. De I will put Fabian Delph in. Um, so my selection criteria might be more than more than ninety minutes or something like that. Um, but I'll include him. For this so I highlight these I'm still holding command down so I've selected my rows what I need to do now is command and C or control and C to copy them but the problem is if I go onto a new sheet the problem is now if I do that it's going to be a um, a formula so I need to I'll go on the the second row down I'll right click and I'll paste special and I, I just want the values. So you'll see the, the values pop up there. What I am going to do is copy the titles. 
um, the column titles so I'll copy that and in my new sheet I think is sheet 4 yep I'll click on the A because that's where my columns start and then command and V so what I can do I can delete all these columns now up until this one so I'll delete those delete these hold command down I'm going to delete these if it'll let me I'll delete those for now and then because all I want is these five columns really to not confuse things so get rid of all them and I can delete those so these so if you if you double click on that line it will automatically adjust according to the length the length and the name um, what I'm going to do is make everything two decimal places so you can select everything there um, or that way if you want um, then you can go format cells number and it's going to be two decimal places yeah so it looks a bit neater now uh, the method is based on percentile, so it's fifth all the way to the, the hundredth percentile. So the fifth being the worst player in the population and the hundredth being the best. Okay, so if we type in fifth there and we'll type in tenth. The next cell is quite clever, um, so we can highlight over that and this square here, we can just drag that down until we can see a hundredth. Yep. I might move that over to the, the right hand side to make it easier for me. Um, so I can move it there. And then Excel's got a percentile formula in there for us. So we go to equals percentile. We'll open the brackets and then it pops up and it tells me what I need to do. So if we go to array. Array is the, the range of what you want to look at the percentile for. So we highlight that and then just put a, a comma and then the K is, so it's related to the fifth percentile. So that's 5%, so that's 0 0.05. So we'll go 0 0.05, press enter and then it should be zero. But what you need to do now, if I drag this down, if you see the range is B2 to B13, I drag that down and it automatically moves from B3 to 14, and then that should be B4, B15. So we need to, we don't need that, yeah? We need it to stay on this range. So there's a neat little trick that we can do. So if you hold uh, shift down and the number four, so that's the dollar sign, and it's in between the B and the two, and we do the same for the B and the 13, so shift, and the dollar sign which is number four on the keyboard and then press enter so what we can do now is we can drag that down and all we have to do is go and change this to this will be one zero uh, this will be one five and we just do this all the way down once that's all done we can highlight that and we can drag that across and I'll show you what that looks like now so what we can do it'd be like that so that's what I've done um, so you can see it's 0 0.1 uh, this one should be 0 0.5 0 0.35 yeah so it all all matches up and when you're done you can drag that across and that's done yeah, so we can make that two decimal places if we want. Again, so I right clicked, format cells, number, two decimal places, and it looks a lot neater. So once you've got that, uh, one of the tasks I asked, well, one of the questions I asked myself, who's the who's the best forward and how, we, how can we compare two different, uh, let's say, forward players, difference by name? more than anything um, and maybe it, this might be used for selection purposes so I want to see these are my five key performance indicators to do with forwards for example so I want to see how they perform compared to another person 
So I pick Theo Walcott versus Richarlson. So if I go to his value, Richarlson is 1.22. So 1.22 is nearest to 1.36. So we've got the 95th percentile. So we can put that in there. I'll show you how to do this bit now. So all I did was copy that, paste that in there, and then name this Richarlson, and this one Walcott. Okay, so we established that he was 95, um, 1.74, 1.74 is closest to 85, so his tempo is 85. Whereas Walcott 1.43 is 65th. So we can put 65th. I'll come back and do Walcott's shots on target later. 0.33. 0.33 is nearest to the 90th. So we can see Richardson is quite good at the minute. But we need to put it into a visual to understand. His expected assist 0 0.20 which is 100th. So he's the best at that. Progressive distance, 54. Uh, so where's 54? So we can go 40th there. So he's not that great at that. Walcott is 36. So we go 10th. So he's the 10th. Expected assists, 0 0.08. 0 0.08 will give him the 90th. So he's quite high in that as well. Expected goals... Let's say it's 0.03. We'll give him the 55th. It's the highest. And 0.0. .0 we'll give him the fifth for that because he's low. And that's all we need now. So this, I know we've gone through a lot of work to do that, but this is all we need. So we've measured them against the whole population of forward players. We might want to measure... Um, let's say Moses Keane against Dominic Calvert-Lewin next because they're similar, a similar type of, of player. So once we've got this, we can put this into something that we call a radar chart. So if we go to insert, uh, chart and radar. If we go to insert here, you, you won't find uh, the radar chart. So what you need, what you could do actually... Um, if you click on this waterfall, you can click on there. So that's the radar chart, but the proper way is through insert. So we'll do it this way. So waterfall, and then it's scroll down to the bottom. It's nice and hidden under the radar. Um, and then we can, we've got that there. So that's that radar. And you can see that Richardson's quite um, high, whereas Walcott's quite low, but he's similar in the expected assists. Um, so we can click on that and we click on move chart because we want it on a separate sheet. And we're going to go player um, comp. So player comparison. That's okay. So what, what we've got now is uh, a radar chart, a filled in radar chart, but we need to make it look um, presentable and to do with the Everton, Everton theme. So we need to make it look a bit like a bit like that. Yeah, you could have the background as as grey if you wanted, um, as as their third kit or second kit, whatever it is. Um, but I've I've chosen to have a white background. Okay, so we can if we go back to player comp, we can we can start to move this wherever we want. If the hand pops up, that means we can move it. Um, so we can move that to the side if we want that there. Uh, the font I've already got in. So it's the Angie Bold. So everything should change to that once I select the whole. So I've, I've selected the whole sheet here. You can see on the outside. Uh, if I go to Angie, where's Angie? Here it is. And Bold. You can, you can then start to play around with, maybe we want it all black. Um, maybe you want to highlight the outside. Um, so we can we can click on, on that. I can make it the blue of Everton, so I can right click. I think I go to um, 
that one. If I go to colors now, uh, we can see solid line. We can have a, a white line if we wanted, or we can have whatever we want. Um, let me go to this. So I, I can change this if I go to this fill here. And I know if I go to more colors, I've got an Everton color stored there. So if I click on that, and it will change it to that. Uh, another Everton color that I've got um, that I might want to change is this one. Yeah, so that's the, I think it's the third kit, or close to it anyway. Um, I can change these to gray if I want and reduce the size of them. Because, or I can just, I can delete them, get rid of them. If I click on the here, um, right click, and I can add the data labels so these get put in. But what you can do is you can drag those into there. You can drag that into there. Um, this one's a bit tricky. Probably won't do it. Um, this one. Make sure the hand's on it. Come on, hand. There we go. We can move that over, move that over to there, and I'll change it to white. I'll change them all to white now. So I click off it and click on it, change it to white, and we can get rid of the label options. So I've gone into the chart there, and we don't need this leader line. So see these little lines here attached to it. I don't need those. So get rid of those. And it is starting to look a bit better. You obviously name it the title that you want. So you can double click in there um, and just put player comparison or player forward player. Let's call it. There we go. And that's something that we can then add in and um, look at individual players for when we're creating, when you're creating your report, basically. Okay, and you can you can start to look at home versus away games. You can look at top quality opposition versus when when they've played better opposition um, than what they are, and when they've played worse opposition, and also how these how this radar chart. Um, changes or the percentiles change based on the the state of the game so whether they're winning at the time losing at the time drawing at the time okay so thank you very much for listening if you have any questions uh, email me and and we'll get those sorted